So here is footage of Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson. Devin Haney's in the white gloves, Shakur is wearing the black gloves. Um, this is a few years ago, and I'm going to break down their sparring. Now they start off, obviously nobody's even throwing a punch yet. They're tentative. Um, at this time, they're both still real big players in their weight divisions. Um, well, it's, it's only a few years ago, but they're still both big names and still everybody knows they're going to be the top dogs in the divisions. Um, this is not too long ago. So anyway, as you see, nothing's really happened yet. Just a couple jabs. Um, Shakur is throwing out a lot of testing jabs. Just testing, and see right there, he picks off a shot. He, he's just downloading information. Shakur is, 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 is like a, a MacBook CPU, you know, with the highest processor. That's why he does it first. He throws a lot of shots to see how Devin's going to react. He even moves certain ways to see how Devin's going to react. And he downloads all this, and it's stored, and it can be accessed at any time. So there, Shakur throws a 1-2. Again, he's not committing just yet because he's seeing what Devin is really made of. So here he gets Shakur against the ropes, he throws a flurry of punches, but let's take a look at Shakur's defensive mastery here because he makes Devin miss every single one of those punches. Shakur rolls, picks off the first shot, moves back from the other shot, picks off the second shot, and ducks out of the very last shot. So now we're starting to get glimpses of Shakur's mastery, and this is, you can't really see this unless it's slowed down. And here's another, boom, okay, there's Shakur catching Devin coming in. He throws a jab downstairs and hits him upstairs. That's, he distracts him with the, with the shot to the body and comes back up top. Shakur does a lot of that throughout this sparring session. There Shakur makes Devin miss again, and he, he ties him up. Now in sparring, as you guys see, it's an unsaid rule that fighters break clean. Uh, for the most part, you're supposed to. All right, so now Shakur again, he's just waiting. Shakur does a lot of waiting. And again, he just caught Devin coming in right there. Let's take a look at that again. Devin makes his move. Shakur hits him with a jab. And then, boom, with, with, the, with the right hand. Oh, excuse me, the left hand. Shakur is on south pole. He's catching Devin coming in a lot. Uh, Shakur is a, 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 a counter puncher, a really good counter puncher. His first, the way he fights is always counter punch first. Boom, now Shakur did a, a double jab. Here you'll see this. He does a double jab and then steps forward real quick and hits him. See, see how quickly Shakur gains distance because his, his fast twitch muscles are very good. So he, he gains distance real quick with his footwork. That's another underutilized part of Shakur's defense, uh, offense. Now there you go. You see Devin come in. Shakur picks off those shots. Now here you see Shakur use blocking counters with the other hand. So right now, boom, there it is. Let's rewind it because it's too fast. Devin comes in, Shakur blocks that, and then shoots that that left over the top. Shakur does a lot of blocking too. So now we're gonna see Devin's first landed shot where he figures out a little hole in Shakur's defense. He gets Shakur on the ropes, Shakur spins left, and boom, Devin lands that left hook. First of the body, then comes back up top because he knows that when Shakur spins to the left, in, which is his natural defensive stance, He's going to be open for that hook when he does that that, that kind of Philly roll or that, that Floyd Mayweather kind of roll. All right, and then they throw a few more shots, and the round ends. So up to this point, Shakur has found a little bit of a hole, so to speak, in Devin Haney's defense. He does the high guard, the earmuffs, a lot. And here Shakur exploits it. Boom. So let's rewind that. Shakur knows he's going to high guard. He throws a shot to get his hands up and then goes down to the body because he knows his hands are just going to stay up and Devin's not using much head movement. Devin decides to take a shot to give one. He waits for Shakur to come in and then he counters him. So... He knows he can't just land because Shakur's too slick, so he's like, yeah, let me take one to give one. 
And that's so now they're moving around. Shakur throws a little shot again with that fast twitch defense with footwork where he pops himself out of range. He throws a quick one too. Uh, a lot of times when Devin's adjusting his headgear, and I know this from my own experience, that means he got hit. So now Devin does something really smart. He's starting to find another another way to land shots on the defensively savvy Shakur. He gets him in the in, against the ropes, then he holds him and he throws shots. Now let's look at that again in slow mo. He gets him there. He puts his hand out. Now he's holding Shakur so Shakur can't spin, and he throws a couple shots. Holds him again with that second hand, and then lands another shot. So he's able to hold Shakur's hands down, and he's able. That also stops Shakur from twisting, because he 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 eludes a lot of the punches by twisting out of the way. That's very smart by Devin Haney. He's able to land some shots. Uh, by kind of trapping Shakur down. Boom, but there you go. You see the high guard again. Here again, Devin Haney holds Shakur, his hands down. So let's look at that again. He comes in, right there's where he holds his hand and stops his, his hip rotation and he nails him. And he throws some body shots, a couple hooks, because once Shakur got nailed, he was kind of in real defense. He wasn't pretending to be in, in a defensive stance. He really stops and Devin Haney's able to fire off some shots. So now here they're, they're clinching. Little body shot, clean break, good sportsmanship. Shakur throws a little body shot. So now again, he's those that wasn't much behind those. Now Haney's moving his head a little bit, finally, which is good. Counters, those uppercut that misses. Shakur's out again, out of range again. There's Haney trying to counter, but Shakur is pretty much out of the way beforehand. Now Haney's dropping his hands, which might not be the best idea. And they're holding a little more. Maybe a little fatigue setting in. <clears throat> There's Shakur again, is out of out of range real quick. Throws a couple shots and is out of range real quick. And Shakur again catches Devin when Devin's trying to come in and then he's out, spins right out. Now Shakur's hands are down, he's starting to feel himself a little bit. Uh, he knows, uh, I think he knows uh, the round's about to end. Oh, there he tried to do a pull counter, missed, and the round ended. Pretty good work. So little treat we have watching the sparring session the whole time because this is actually his gym is the self-proclaimed TBE the one one of the best fighters ever definitely one of the best defensive fighters ever uh, we got Floyd Mayweather right there watching the sparring so I know the guys are trying to show out for Floyd the third round starts and Shakur throws a jab and then Devin parries it All right, let's look at that again that was quick Shakur throws a jab, Devin knocks it, and with the same hand, hits him. And that's pretty hard to do with the same hand. It takes speed, so Devin's starting to... That's like one of Shakur's tricks that Devin's using. You don't see very often. They do this feeling each other out. Uh, Shakur just waiting. He's, again, downloading information, waiting on Devin to throw first. He's a very reactive fighter, Shakur. There he does a little offense. And here, Devin, again, blocks Shakur's shot and then counters right over with the same hand. Let's look at that again in slow-mo. Blocks, and boom, throws a left hook. And then gets hit in the back of the head, but that's fair game. Shakur throws a jab. They both feeling each other out. <clears throat> there, Devin throws a little combo. Shakur blocks most of those with his elbows. It's very tight defense. Um, which is what makes him so dangerous, or so hard to beat, not dangerous, I should say. It makes him really hard to beat. And it's very discouraging. When you're in there with somebody and you're banging off shots, it's full speed, and, and everything's getting picked off. Uh, it's definitely discouraging. So now, again, they're just feeling each other out. At this point, they both slow down a little bit. I think they're both really trying to show out and really trying to look good, and they want to get the upper hand of this before it's over. There you go. They both kind of exchange a shot. Uh, both land right there. And now we're going to see Shakur time him again. Devin's going to try and hop in and Shakur's going to nail him. Boom. Times him. Hits him with that jab before Devin can come in. Now Devin's going to get him against the ropes. And look, there you go. He throws a double left hook, which is smart because Shakur has been constantly rolling and he, and he has not seen a double left hook from Devin. Um, There you see Devin catching Shakur. Let's look at that in slow motion. Boom. He catches him coming in and then steps to the side. It's almost like Devin's taking some of Shakur's tricks. Devin's having a better round. There Shakur lands a jab and he gets right out of the way with that footwork once again. Um, 
but it does seem like Devin is picking up some of what Shakur is doing to him, which is which is good. It takes a big man and, and no ego to learn from a guy who's actually hitting you with this, some of the shit, and you pick up that up and you use it to your advantage. So now we're going to see Devin throw a combination. He's going to get Shakur on the ropes. And he's going to throw a combination right here. He's going at him, but Shakur literally eludes almost every punch. Let's look at that in slow-mo. Blocks the first one, ducks out of the second one. Body shot was blocked by the elbow. Steps back from that punch. And he's going to move out the way of that one. Block that one. Block that one and duck and grab. Yeah, I mean, Shakur is defensively very, very, very sharp. And it's discouraging, again. So here we're going to see another example of Shakur being faster with the trigger. He's going to catch Devin before Devin can catch him. And this has been happening quite a bit in the fight. Now Shakur is going to catch Devin leaving his hand out, almost like a lazy jab. Boom, let's look at that again. Keeps his hand out, and Shakur counters him. Boom. He's something you usually don't see turns, and he's standing conventional. Just to confuse that. And now the round ends with Shakur rocking Devin for the first time. Boom, there it is. Let's look at that again. Jab, quick two quick steps forward and catches him with a hard overhand left and Devin wobbles and at the very end right there you see Shakur give him a little smile being like yeah I sent the message to Floyd to you to everybody now I know some people might say well this is just sparring and no when you have two top guys at though at that level because this, this only a few years ago they were at the top of their divisions at this point and you're in the Mayweather gym and you have Mayweather watching and all those people there because you know Mayweather gym is known to be mad competitive these guys are trying to win maybe they might not be trying to knock each other out um but they might be but they're definitely trying to get the better of the other guy and send a message to the boxing world to the other to their opponent and definitely to Floyd so that's the end of the sparring um I definitely think Shakur got got the better of Devin two rounds to one maybe even three zero um, Shakur was just way sharper, obviously better defense, uh, set great traps, his offense was, he's just, his uh, boxing IQ was very high, very smart fighter, and Devin's no slouch either, Devin's really good, um, as well, but Shakur definitely got the top, I want to know what you, what do you guys think, who do you guys think got the better of the sparring, and do you guys think it would go this way, if they fought now, and with the 8 ounce gloves, and in the pro ring, and for 12 rounds, let me know what you think.